Um, but I want to turn to a movie, Bohemian, Rap- Bohemian Rhapsody even, if you've seen it. Um, it has just been screened in China, but heavily censored. Lots of people talking about this. It has been shown in some cinemas, but reportedly gay references in the film have been cut. I got to speak to our China media analyst, Kerry Allen, about the movie's release. There's been huge reaction. This has been a big talking point on Chinese social media today, the platform Sina Weibo. There have been 50,000 people leaving reviews since the film got released on Friday. I mean, Friday was the premiere, so mainly people have been going at the weekend, getting their tickets. There's lots of pictures of people showing their tickets and talking about the film. But there's also a lot of discussion about the film being a bit confusing to some people because of the censorship and and people did anticipate when it was announced that it was going to come to china that there will be some scenes cut out but some people have been leaving posts saying that there's so much censorship they feel that they're not entirely sure about the plot in some areas and it it all gets a bit confusing so describe what sort of uh, scenes or perhaps phrases are being censored well, a lot of references to Freddie Mercury being gay have been either cut or, or toned down. So there was a scene where there are two men kissing and this has been removed. And there's also there's a close-up of Rami Malek's crotch, which has been removed as well. Um, I mean, things like this, the, the Chinese censors normally remove. They, anything that will make people think about sex or is, is seen to be taboo um, is, is normally toned down in China. But homosexuality is not illegal in the country. It's not, but there are laws in place since 2017 which restrict both broadcasters, um, also publishers, from any portrayal of very graphic sexual activity. So, so um, And this is particularly in reference to homosexuality. So a homosexual kiss can be seen as too explicit it it really is um, from the top down the government is quite clear about this um there was one chinese film critic i was uh, reading that said it's not even so much that it is homophobic but it's almost sex phobic in the way it has censored it yeah yeah this is quite typical when it comes to to western films which are seen i mean in china a lot of films if there's any romance involved it's normally very very careful very cautious i mean a kiss on TV is seen as quite explicit, even between two heterosexual people. So, uh, so the idea of homosexual kisses, explicit talks about AIDS, these these are for a Chinese audience very very shocking. Uh, whereas they might not shock a Western audience because of Chinese TV largely being traditional in the way that it portrays relationships. It does need to tone down quite a lot. It feels. And were Queen big in China? They were, yeah. Actually, I remember when I was um, when I was teaching, I used to teach children. You know, I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike because it's very <laughs> easy for the grammar. Um, so, uh, so yeah, they were. I mean, not many Western performers actually come into China, but but people are aware of Queen. Um, they know the songs. They can sing them in karaoke bars. So Queen have had a lot of popularity, and some people have said that this film. If, if it's hard to understand because of the censorship, it's, it's nice as a kind of karaoke compilation. People can just sing along while watching the film. What about- Thanks to our China media analyst, Kerry Allen. Now you'll have a Queen song in your head for the rest of the day.